you know this is a quick look what you see when you come out of the forest right it's not like uh in many places that you would be immediately in a city or something like that you know no i enjoy these places yeah yes see i know that a lot of people uh would not understand but for me this is very nice you know so all the dolmens and stuff like that are there. I just cycle three, three, or maybe even just two minutes, you know, yeah, to get out of the forest because I don't, didn't plan to go all the way through the forest because we have to go that way to go home, and there are two more forests that we have to cross, and he has to walk it all. You know what I mean? Yes. And he's already eight years old. You know, I want to uh, make sure that uh, yeah, he stays whole as well, you know, because he's getting a little bit uh, older. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes when, when we do really a lot, you know, because he wants to do a lot always, and I do too, then he can get a little bit stiff and stuff like that. I don't want that, you know, so, yeah. But over there, when you go there to the left, there's, a, there's like a shamanic center, you know? Yes. And they also uh, chose their spot not for without reason, you know what I mean? Yes. They also have something like, a, you know, every, everybody knows that this is a very highly energetic area, you know, like, like with all the dolmens and stuff like that, you know? Yes. There's a lot of uh, different groups that are attracted to those things, you know? Uh, yeah, some to exploit it, you know, and of course they all think they are doing well in their own ways, you know, yeah, but I don't like uh, commercial things, you know, no, but but the thing over there, what is over there, you know, the, the, the shamanic institute that's over there, you know, just, just, just two minutes down the road there, right, yeah, they, they, they make quite big things, you know, they have a, uh, the events they call like shamanic teachings, you know, and then they get uh, like like people from all over the world, you know, from the Altai and the Amazon and you know all those regions, you know, Siberia, you know, and of course also local, right? Because that's how they come, right? But also uh, Native Americans, you know, so North America, Canada, you know, all over the world where they have similar cultures. Uh, like our indigenous culture, we could say, right? Like the Finland as well, you know? Yes. And they uh, they, they do the activating thing, you know, and uh, they have like big meetings there, you know? Yes. Some are public, some are private. You know, it's a, it's a mix because you have to do public stuff as well to, uh, <laughs> to keep the government happy, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But typically, uh, yeah, that's that's what I mean with the commercial thing, you know. If you if you yeah, because many uh, people like me, of course, you know, are extremely private in uh, in what we do, you know, which is basically uh, normal, you know. Yeah, it's, it's not it's, uh, yeah, it's not it's not uh, pastoral like uh, a lot of people nowadays want to be, you know, like the idea that everybody has to be the same and everybody has to do the same thing and stuff like that, you know, yeah. That's completely different in the sense of, uh, yeah. And, yeah, the, the, the individual qualities are more appreciated, you know, and you want people to uh, keep and maintain their individuality, you know, if you, if you look a little bit more into animism and stuff like that and the ideas of... Uh, of, of spirit and totem animals and medicine wheels and stuff like that, right? Then you will understand a little bit, you know, that indeed, you know, the individual is, 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 is a key part of the community, you know what I mean? So not, not saying that uh, everybody should be like a, like a complete hermit or the opposite, you know? Yeah, people just appreciate the individual qualities that one person has to bring. You see the same, for example, in Tibetan singing bowls, right? With the seven metals, you know, the seven metal bowls and stuff like that, right? Yeah, the entire alchemy, right, 
is is basically the mixing of the metals is is adjusted exactly to the priest himself you know what i mean in a last uh, lifetime you know so the and they basically are sacrificial bowls originally you know to 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 make understand you know that it is your resonance you know that is giving its offering to the universe you know and then you see once again you know like uh yeah the honoring of basically the individual right all the elements that make you 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 know and the community appreciating that you know and and celebrating that yeah yeah that's basically also the original reasons for example why people celebrate birthdays right because yeah of course it has to do a lot with the with the, with, the, with the situation of the planets and stuff like that right that's a, that's how the entire idea of horoscopes came to be and stuff like that you know and those planets right because yeah originally there were seven planets <laughs> right yeah have to do with those seven metals and you know yeah, it con it connects everything once again you know yes and as you can see you know places 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 like this it's a <laughs> You know, I was just in the previous video, I was talking about the deers and stuff like that, right? And there you see now, you know, the, the hunters have become so bold, you know, they just put a uh, hunting cabin, you know, just, just in the middle of the field, you know. So uh, they also notice that this is a good spot for deers, you know. Yeah, but I usually I usually just enjoy spotting deers, you know. I don't have to shoot them, you know. No. I just like observing them, yes. So yeah and Baku as well you know yeah sure he runs after them you know but he likes finding them you know the thrill of tracking you know yeah so so you can still have your, like your hunter genes you know and you can still go out there you know and go pathfinding and, and and do all those things you know and tracking and all that you know the the only thing that we don't need to do is, is kill it you know yeah because there's plenty of food you know it's the same with with gardening as well I throw, I grow many, many fruit trees, you know, in the, in my garden, you know, and also berries and stuff like that, you know. But I only eat what I want to eat, and the rest I just leave hanging for the birds and the and the and the bees and and and, and the wasps, basically, right? Because it's usually the wasps that's gonna eat, and the birds in the winter as well, of course, you know, because like for my apple tree, for example, right? Yeah, there were hanging apples in there, you know, and I, it took until until january you know until the, the birds finally ate it completely you know because because that's the coldest part right that's where they really get hungry you know and they need it much more than i do because i can just buy apples i have plenty of apples you know it's uh yeah but anyway you know i will just post it as a, this as well you know yeah then you can hear the ramblings of my mind right yeah but then you can also see what these places do right Yes, but also how it works, you know, because it is really nature pulling me out, you know. It is there, that friend there, the sun, you know, because it causes that all, right? It is the, the birds that start to sing, you know, uh, all the signs in nature. But but to, to, to attune to those signs in nature, you know, that draw you to these places, you know, you all have to expose yourself to it, you know what I mean? Because else it cannot it cannot notify you, it can, you cannot... Uh, attuned to it it's kind of like with the water in my aquarium as well where they say uh you know like water has memory you know in an electric charge you know electromagnetic memory you know so it basically becomes one with all the organisms in the water you know because they all have a frequency and the water adjusts to it you know and it nourishes the other things you know that's why you should not do water changes in your aquarium you know because basically you're, you're distorting it then you know so yes the same the same of course goes with air as well you know because uh you know you could see those clouds you know like the tip of the waves you know you could see the birds like the fish you know and you could see the trees and everything like the water plants right and we are then kind of like the little crabs on the bottom right yes but but the same the same kind of uh all-encompassing energy you know is 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 moving us as well you know what i mean just just like water connects all the creatures in the water you know like like in an aquarium you know we just live in a tiny biotope as well you know we're just living on a stone you know it's a yeah living on the rock right but anyways 
yes, let's, let's continue cycling, right? But then at least you can see the more natural mind, you know, at work, right? Yes. And what, what it does, you know, yes. And if you like that, and if you want to have more of that for yourself as well, you know, then you too should just go outside, you know, to, to places similar like these, you know, just, just expose yourself to nature, whatever it is, you know, where you're at, you know, submerge yourself into it, spend a lot of time in it, because I must admit, I spend a lot, a lot, a lot of time in it, you know, so, yes. But that's also, yeah, I just follow my soul, you know, yeah, my soul's needs, you know, yes. I do, I do what I wake up with, what to do, you know. So it's basically listening to yourself, you know, to, yeah, instead of uh, complying to whatever. But anyways, I'm going to go on because I don't know where that tractor wants to go, but I, I don't think he's going to come here. No, he's just, uh, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Spraying his field, probably. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, goodbye.